Nation FM. This is where good music lives. My name is Marion Bashar. Most bankable host Brian Deseli. If you're out there, Santini Santa for joining us. It's such a brilliant day to kickstart your morning. And of course, we want to say a big thank you for choosing Nation FM 96.3. Right now, it's more of a tragedy. It's more of a, a sad, uh, grieving moment for the parents and of course for the uh, fraternity of Enda Rasha Primary School, which uh, actually uh, yesterday was... Um, I'm too emotional for this. Uh, uh, but as uh, the burial of 21 children who died in a school fire in Yeri began yesterday, questions are being asked about the silence over the investigations into the tragedy. And of course, nine victims of the hillside in the Russia uh, dormitory fire were buried yesterday. Two boys are still admitted to hospital. And Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa led the families and mourners in an emotional service at Moiga Stadium in Kieni constituency. That's right. I think it's important to say their names because they're very young lives lost way too soon roy brandon mugo gikonyo um timothy waweru gathogo john komun juguna michael ndungu Muridi, roy victor muturi chege ernest ngaruya mwangi travis john karioki muñeki mm -hmm. kent mungai mwangi mm -hmm. timothy wamai gidhinji and we have Ferdinand Karuku Washira, Samvin Munene Maina, Louis Mashira Gaku, we have Robinson Theori Kamitha, Kelvin Kabogo Njogu, Bernard Warutere, we have Emmanuel Kirago Gashor uh, Gashorohio, we have Collins Murithi Washira, Emmanuel Maina Githinji, John Munga Githinji, we have Sax uh, Success Kingori Wanjau, and we have Louis Wairago Maina. Um, first of all, may they rest, may their souls rest in eternal peace. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, our condolences to the families of um, all these young boys who lost their loved ones. And I know there are still those who are missing. Now, something that was very odd uh, during this service is that in, all those who spoke um, did not speak of calling for justice for these young boys. Mm -hmm. Instead, for example, the Nyari governor talked about how well the school performs during national examinations mm -hmm. and heaped praises on the school principal, mm -hmm. which I do find very odd. Um, who should be under investigation because yeah. he's, uh, I, I know it's not his fault maybe directly but of course he's the man in charge and uh, we need some explanation on the same and of course and it also raises the question of, on compliance to uh, school safety measures uh, which also dominated the speeches because I feel like uh, Mariam in schools we definitely need to we definitely need to train for fire uh, preparedness and as we do that it's maybe going to help save lives even more I, uh, I know these are very young kids and I, I, I don't, I don't even, I can't even start imagining half of what the parents are feeling right now. We say poorly to the families. That's right. As investigations continue, DCI boss Mohamed Amin um, did not pick phone calls. His number was off. Uh, it is now a DCI case, at least according to local police, who say they have nothing to do with mm -hmm. it as of now. But there are questions, of course, as you've said, over compliance to school safety standards. Um, according to witness reports and um, other reports on page on the back page of the Daily Nation, mm -hmm. the dormitory had three exits one of which had been locked from the outside and some parts of it were made of timber but uh, Ministry of Education you know guidelines uh, are that you know all materials for dormitories should be permanent materials mm -hmm. it's not shifting blame or you know looking for anything of that sort but more so finding out exactly how we can you know have justice for these 21 young boys and mm -hmm. for their families